What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Big Waves. Yes, sir, finally, we are doing a chest day, AKA bay pillow days. Hold on, let me explain the bay pillows. So a bay pillow is any muscle or body part that you can lay on your girl or your guy. So like shoulders, arms, chest, for the girls, for the ladies, it's the butt. <laughs> so any body part or muscle group that you can lay on, we call that the bay pillow. So today we're doing the chest day, bay pillow day. I'm excited to be uh, show you guys uh, everything that I've learned throughout the years, building my chest. Um, I've been competing now for 11 years since what? 2012 was my first show, I turned pro 2013. So I have a lot of experience and a lot of information to share with you guys. So make sure you guys take your notepads out, stay tuned. We are eight weeks out from the Mr. Olympia. I'm defending my title for the fourth time. I'll be going for my fourth title at the Mr. Olympia. If you have your tickets, be ready, because I'm about to give y'all a show. If you don't have tickets yet, make sure you go follow the live stream, MrOlympia.com. Thank you guys for watching. Let's go to work. All right, guys, so we're gonna start the warm up. If you notice on my other workout videos, um, I warm up a lot for like 10, 15 minutes, I'm warming up. There's like three exercises. So the first exercise for chest warm up, we're gonna do some cable flies. We do about three or four sets. I'm gonna move up the weight every set, and then we'll go to the next uh, warm up exercise. So let's get it. I wanna get the, the um, cable a little bit above my shoulders, like right where my head is at. And the key with this exercise, the flies, you wanna act like you're hugging a, a tree. So what I'm doing, I'm just gonna be hugging a tree the whole time. My elbows are gonna be bent and I'm gonna squeeze my chest at the end of the work, at the end of the, the contraction. Elbows bent. Chest up, hug that tree. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we're feeling good today. Feel healthy, no major injuries. Uh, we just saw Alma, Alma, shout out to Alma Body Works. She's my massage therapist. It's not just a regular massage therapy though. <laughs> she literally breaks down the muscle. I call it non-invasive surgery. She literally goes inside the muscle with her hands and does surgery and fixes it. It's crazy. Alma Body Works on Instagram. Make sure y'all check her out if you're in Miami. Hug that tree. Yeah, let's move up a little bit. That was two sets. I feel really good right now, just from the warm up. I can already tell how the workout's gonna go by how my warm up is. If I have the energy during the warm up, it's gonna be a real good workout and I'm not feeling anything in my shoulders, my elbows, everything is running smooth. So we're gonna have a good workout today, man. Let's get it, Bay Pillow Day. This will be the... Uh...
Everything warmed up. We have the Panada. It's a super inclined flight machine. It's also a flight machine. Incline. Really good. Let's start low weight. Just want to get a feel for it first. Seats at a good position here. They got a, a little stepper here to help you get the weight up. All right, same thing. We're going to hug that bear. Keep the elbows bent and hug that tree. Like a bear hug. This machine really allows you to get a good stretch on the chest, too. Almost like you're doing a dumbbell fly. That was actually light, so we're gonna put some weight on it now. Let's go, set number two, we still warming up. I'm actually hot right now, but we gonna keep warming up that chest. Cause after that, we gotta do some compound weights, dumbbell, barbell, heavy, heavy weight. So we gotta make sure we all warmed up for that. Get a good stretch, good squeeze. That's good. We'll do one more set here. One more set and then um, I'm gonna go here to the uh, isolateral incline press. And if you guys been watching me, my journey, or if you're new, I do this thing called uh, punches. So it's a side chest punch. If you, if you know you've been rocking with me, and you've been, you see my journey, you know I, I love these. This is one of my favorite chest exercises, warm ups, that I apply every single prep. Um, it just allows you to give more depth and detail in the chest, especially in the middle chest. It's really easy for men to grow the, the lower half of the chest, but we wanna really focus on the upper half and inside, the cleavage part. So this machine really helps a lot. We'll do one more set of the Panada uh, incline flies, then we're gonna go to the punches. Easy. Starting to get a little bit challenged there, uh, just because of the, the mechanics of the machine, and I added weight, so let's give them a little bit more challenge for that last set. But now we're gonna go to punches. All right, for the punches, I want to see a little bit higher. Um, if you're just starting with these, I'll, I suggest starting with 25 pounds. I'm used to this exercise, so I'm gonna start with 45. I might go up depending on how I feel, but 45 is a sufficient amount of weight for me for this exercise and what I need to implement for my chest. So here we go, man. So you want to make sure you're sitting all the way sideways, right? You don't want to be on an angle. You don't want to be here on this angle. You want to face directly the plate. If you need to, you can put your foot over this pole right here just to get you a good position. And remember now, the range of motion is probably four to five inches. So you don't even need to, you don't need a to go crazy with this exercise. The range of motion is four to five inches, so now you can add on weight because the range of motion is so short. So these are just punches. You're gonna use your palm, keep that chest up, and squeeze right here. Make sure you're keeping everything still. The only thing that should be moving is your hand and the elbows, pushing the weight. I'm gonna switch sides, do the same thing. <sighs> Sit all the way sideways, facing the plate, chest up, squeeze.
So this exercise is not even a traditional exercise for this machine. They didn't build this for that, but we learned to be creative um, when it comes to bodybuilding and building the body, shaping the physique. So this is very helpful in shaping the physique, shaping that chest, making it nice and round and full. We can go up a little bit. That was, that was good. That was good weight. I might just stay here too. And shit, I'm warmed up now, so. Look, I'm already sweating, bro. That's crazy. That's why I like wearing a hoodie. I wear my pump cover, I call it a pump cover. Just so it makes sure that um, our warm up is, is efficient and uh, faster. <laughs> Versus if I just come in here with a, with a t-shirt on or a tank top on, I'm gonna come in cold. So I wanna make sure that I warm up properly before I start really pushing the weight. So now we warmed up. We got a couple more sets here on this, uh, the punches warm up, and then we're gonna start doing some, uh, some heavy weights. So let's get it. Chest up. Now it's all about getting blood. We want to get all the blood flow in the chest. Fatigue that chest. We're gonna beat this chest up today. We're beating up the bay pillows today. Oh yeah. Chest up. Short range. Like I said, it's easy to, to build uh, the, the lower half of the chest. I mean, all guys have it, right? But to really bring that depth and that 3D look to the chest, you gotta work on that upper, upper half. Upper half and cleavage. So you bring more roundness and fullness to the, to the chest. And especially for you men's physique guys hitting that front pose on stage, remember, it's all about illusion. It's all about having the chest and shoulders coming forward and the weights coming back. So having a full, deep, uh, chest, round, full muscle bellies, it's gonna give that illusion that the chest is coming forward and the waist is pulling back, creating that strong V taper on stage. We got one more set. This side is a lot easier. Maybe I'm having some issues with my shoulder. So my left side is, feels like it's a little bit tight versus the right side is a lot more smooth. So I gotta make sure I tell Alma about that, man. If you guys are feeling anything, make sure you go see your massage therapist, bro. Don't sleep on massage therapy. It's all about self-care. We come here and beat our bodies up all the time, every day. You gotta make sure you go home and um, work on that self-care so that you can recover properly and avoid injury. It's a major thing, we gotta avoid any injury. I haven't been injured my entire career. I've been competing since 2012, and I never had a major injury because of that. I take care of my body, and I don't ego lift. I don't, I don't lift for likes. I don't lift because there's girls here trying to go heavy and go crazy. I train smart, not crazy. So uh, we good here. I'm actually gonna stay on this machine. I'm gonna do the incline press for both. So actually, this weight is good here. We're gonna already start pressing.
right, so key with this exercise, a lot of guys come here, they put the, point their elbows out. That's gonna rotate and uh, hit the shoulders. So what you wanna do is bring the elbows in and now pushing through, look what happens to my chest. I'm popping my chest forward versus here if my elbows are out, look, there's no movement in my chest, it's all shoulders. So I bring my elbows in for all my chest workouts and look what happens. Look at the chest being contracted. I'm not even using any weight, but you can see how the chest is, is being contracted with this movement, with this position of the elbows. So now we put on more weight. Ooh, yeah. So now we're in the pressing movements. Uh, we're all done warmed up, getting warmed up. Now we're gonna press and really put on and beat up that muscle, beat up the, the chest so that it can uh, recover and grow the way we want it to grow. Let's go up a little bit more. I forgot to mention also on my, uh, the chest workouts, you wanna make sure your lower back is off the seat. Because if your lower back is down, look what's happening in my chest. There's, it's not, there's no stretch, it's closing. But if I have my lower back off the seat, now what I'm doing is I'm stretching, I'm allowing the, the chest to stretch. That way I can get a full stretch and a full squeeze while my back is off the seat. Full stretch and full squeeze. You're gonna notice on the next set. Ooh, yeah. There's a champ set right here. This set for the haters. This set is for the haters. Anyone that ever doubted me, I remember that shit. Even after I won, you doubted me and I won. I still remember that shit. Even if we cool, if I knew that you hated on me, you didn't believe in me before, I still remember that. And I put that right into my workout. So let's get it. A little squeeze. <sighs> yeah, let's go. Chest about to be beat up after this. All right, we're on our isolateral is a horizontal bench press. It's a bench press, great machine. You don't even have to go, like, you don't have to put a lot of weight on here. It's a heavy machine, so literally like two, three places, it feels like 500 pounds. Um, but it's a great machine, so make sure you guys add it in your routine. Yo, remember them cues, man. Chest up, back up. Get that back off the pad, bring that chest up, stretch and squeeze. Ain't nothing changed, man. We still on the bench press. Uh, we're on a compound movement. Some uh, good heavy weight here. We don't need a lot of weight for this, for this exercise. We're on set two now. Let's keep pushing. Yeah, we fighting now, eight weeks out. Eight weeks out. 
So last thing here. All right, y'all. Yeah. Last set, it's a champ set. Last set, champ set, man. Eight weeks out. We got a title to defend. And we got to repeat. I'm going into Miss Olympia as the defending and the reigning champ. And I'm doing everything to beat me. Because it's all about me. I don't care about nobody else, bro. I'm the champ. I'm the one to beat. So I got to beat me last year. So we're going to keep working. Let's get some squeezes in here. Let's get some squeezes in here. Oh, let's go. We ain't done yet. We're gonna go back to the other room for uh, dumbbell, dumbbell presses. And then I'm gonna do an uh, incline bench press. And that should be, yeah, maybe uh, end with some flies. I'm gonna end with some flies too, so. We got about three exercises left. About halfway done, let's get it. All right, y'all, we are gonna do um, dumbbell bench press. This is an incline dumbbell bench press. We're still doing compound movements, heavy movements. We're gonna start with 70, 80, 90, we're gonna get up to 100 pounds. So we're still pushing the weight. We got a compound movement, still getting a lot of blood flow in the chest and really building and beating up that chest. So let's keep working, man. We're eight weeks out, you guys. Like, this is it, man. I started prep 16 weeks out, and we're already eight weeks out. We're already halfway through prep. Like, this is it. This is everything. I gotta give everything in every workout, food, diet, the, the cardio, the stretching, the self-care therapy, all of that. So here we go, man. This is the first set, incline bench press. I like to put this seat down so that my butt can sit inside and I can feel more, like, stable when I'm pushing the weight. Versus if it was, like, out here, my butt would be, like, sliding down. It just wouldn't be as stable. So I put the seat down, so I'm able to stay stable, and now it can add on more weight. Chest up. Put that back off the pad, keep that chest up. Come down a little bit. I got too hype. <laughs> so remember that I was saying, um, if you watch the other videos, um, you want to make sure that your your breathing technique is on point. The more muscle you have, the better your breathing has to be. The more oxygen you need in the muscle. So if you're out of breath, you're fatigued, bro. Slow down. Slow down. I don't have to. I always hear about this thing about like 30 second rest period. 20 second rest period. My thing is, every set I wanna give 100%. So if it takes me 90 seconds to give that next set 100%, I'm gonna take that rest. If it takes me two minutes to give 100% on that next set, I'm gonna take two minutes. So it really just depends on what I'm feeling. But you wanna make it to a point where you're, you don't get cold. Once you get cold, then you're not gonna be able to hit this, the weight the same. So it gotta be to a point where you catch your breath but you're also not getting the muscles cold. So you gotta find, it's a fine line you gotta find. 10 more seconds. <laughs> Ooh. Feel good.
So this is the third uh, compound set, compound exercise. It's a basic flat bench. Um, I'm fatigued, I'm tired, man. So don't expect heavy weight on here. I don't need it. What I wanna do is just keep um, already beating up the chest. I just wanna keep going a little bit deeper, getting a little bit more blood flow, tearing up those muscle fibers a little bit more. So I don't need a lot of weight for here. I might go up to like 150, 170 max, but like I said, at the end of the workout, you don't even need a lot of weight. It's all about the time over tension and um, just your breathing technique and making sure that you really feel in the muscle, getting the blood flow into the muscle. So let's start easy. We're gonna go 45. Do three easy sets here. Here, you want to keep that lower back off the back, off the pad. Keep that chest up so it stays spread open and wide. Keep the chest up and just push through. Doing the same thing. I'm pretty much using that cue for all my chest exercises, especially when I'm on the bench. Flatter incline. Keep that butt off the pad. Keep that chest up. Yeah, second set, man. We almost done, bro. You're like 80% done. Let's get this work. Bro, I'm telling you at this point, you don't even need a lot of, a lot of weight. Like, you're gonna feel that. You're gonna feel it, bro. I'll tell you, it's all about time over tension, putting that pressure on the muscle. It's not about the weight. It's about the tension and the pressure you put on that muscle. By the, by the end of the workout, you can't even lift that. It just feel like 300 pounds. It's crazy. I'm just gonna go up a little bit for my last set. The thing is like, no matter what you're going through, no matter how hard it gets, nothing lasts forever. It's always gonna end. If you're in prep, 16 weeks, you finally four weeks out, it's getting hard. Bro, you only got four weeks left. It's gonna end. So when you're thinking that the time's getting hard, if you're in school, if you don't work, yo, nothing lasts forever, bro. Just finish that thing strong, cause it's gonna end. Bro, I think I broke something. <laughs> No, don't even play. <laughs> no, it's a good thing. <laughs> My chest don't work no more, it's numb. <laughs> it's crazy. Yo, if you guys follow this workout, man, I'm gonna have to put everything in the description, the, the sets and the reps, cause the way I'm feeling now, bro, I feel like I've been training for three hours, dog. It's only, it ain't even been 90 minutes, I don't think. It's only been like an hour, hour 20 minutes, bro. It's crazy, the way I'm feeling. Anyway, this is the Panada machine, great uh, Italian machine for chest. It's a standing multi-flight. Um, you can use it for lateral raises. I'm gonna use it for like a chest squeeze. Um, th this machine, if you don't have it, this is basically like a, um, a lower half, like a cable fly for the lower half of the, the chest. So you can use cable flies it's the exact same way if you don't have this Panada um, standing multi-flight. I'm gonna switch it for a chest. Put like right here. It's good. For like three. There, let's put the weight up. All right, so this one, we're just gonna come down and squeeze, almost like you're doing a, mo a, a most muscular. It's like a most muscular, like pack fly, we could call it, most muscular. So I'm, I'm, I'm bending forward into the weight and I'm squeezing. My traps are taking over here and squeezing the chest. Right here.
All right, so when I was hitting this exercise, I realized that it's probably a little bit too low. Uh, I don't have a, uh, a great amount of uh, stretch on it, so I'm gonna put a little bit higher. I think it's here. Yeah. A little bit higher so I can get more of a stretch in the chest. And I'm only gonna do uh, three sets here. Three sets on this exercise. Like, we're 90% done, bro. Like, that's the end of the workout. I always like to finish, I always like to start and finish the exercise with cable flies. So this is a form of a cable fly. But I really like this machine, so I like to end my workouts with this one. Let's keep that blood flow in there. Almost done. Everything's gonna come to an end, guys. No matter how much pressure there is, it doesn't last forever. All right, guys. That was the last set of the Bay Pillow workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys uh, apply it in your routines on your chest day. Even if you don't follow the whole workout, just take little bits and pieces of what I've been telling you guys. Those little cues gonna help so much in your chest development. I know there's a lot of guys out here that need help growing their chest. So after 10, 11 years of experience training my chest, um, I found out these exercises really work. Remember, don't you don't want to ego lift. It's not about training, lifting 405 pounds. It's not about that, bro. No ego lifting. Do what you can, do what you feel, and stop if you feel anything wrong. Listen to your body, and um, just keep applying pressure, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys throw this in your routine. Remember, we're eight weeks out, you guys, and I'm coming out with content every week, so you guys stay tuned. You're gonna be following me all the way up to we get this fourth Olympia title. I can't wait. I hope you're excited as I am. Stay tuned. If there's any um, su suggested videos that you guys want from me, make sure you write it in the comments. Also, like, comment, and subscribe to my page. You can find me on Instagram also, Brandon Hendrickson. Eight weeks out, you guys. Let's work. Big waves. Who ain't working?